I could learn how to talk, my name would be Jared. This, of course, is Captain Clay, and we're going to help you navigate the tricky waters of entrepreneurship. Clay, uh, today we're going to be talking about chapter three in your book, okay. where you talk about you are quickly going nowhere in your custom hand-painted 1989 Ford Escort. And I can say firsthand, I've seen this vehicle, and wow. I'll tell you one of the biggest uh, drawbacks of having that vehicle is that ladies lust after you. I, I don't find that to be the truth. Well, I did marry a super attractive lady. That is As true. a byproduct, she was directly attracted to the vehicle. To be in the vehicle, you had to get with me. I feel like somehow you did trick her into marrying you. That's true. Um, you definitely married up on that. Anyhow, um, this chapter is talking about finding a chief aim. Yep. in life and with your career and what you want to do. Um, could you expand a little bit more on exactly what a chief aim is? The chief aim should be the definite dominating thought that's in your brain at virtually all times. Okay. And the, the definite chief aim, and a lot of people are going, well, I want to do this in my life, and I want to do that, I want to do this. And really, uh, the, the definite chief aim should be the thing that's your obsession, your magnificent obsession, the thing that gets you up early, keeps you up late, very similar to your passion, but it's a definite, specific thing you're m moving towards. If you wouldn't mind, what is your chief aim? Uh, my definite chief aim, which is kind of interesting, forever it was to be a millionaire by age 30. Um, you know, it was all financial goals. And as I kind of achieved different goals and hit certain plateaus I wanted to get to, now it's to help people um, who have a business or uh, are wanting to start a business, to help them turn their uh, lives into a big passion project, and then to basically form a synergy partnership with them. So my goal is to you know team up with somebody who makes cakes, somebody who uh, uh, owns a boot camp or some kind of fitness gym or something, and allow them to do their pursue their passion by helping them build duplicatable systems to make their business run. That's fantastic. How would you how would you advise someone to go about defining their definite chief aim? Um, if you're watching this, which is uh, probably the most likely way you'd be watching it or seeing a YouTube video, <laughs> um, it, you're, you're going to go ahead and take a piece of paper out. So here you go, paper. I'll give you some time. Good, the time. Okay, so you got some paper. I want you to go ahead and write down the 10 things that you would want to accomplish if you knew for sure that you were only going to be alive for, let's say, six more months. That's it. You got six more months left. What are the, are the 10 things that you definitely want to get done? Um, and make them somewhat big. Don't put, you know, get the mail out, that kind of thing. But ten specific things you want to get done in the next six months, if you were to, to pass away. Now, let's say that now the timetable's been moved up and you only have three months. So let's go ahead and circle the top five. So now you're down to your top five things that you have to get done if you have three months to live. And just for fun, let's get down to the top one. That top one should be your definite chief aim right now. Very nice. Okay, so now we've, we've de defined the chief aim. Yep. Um, how do we take that chief aim, that one point, and then translate that into action steps? Okay, let's do a specific example. I have a client of mine right now. He has a business bringing in a ton of, a ton of revenue. A lot of clients, works all the time. He handles all the billing, all the coaching, all the training, all the taxes, everything. He has a lot of money coming in, but not a lot of time to left over. So for him, to turn this definite chief aim, which is to gain time freedom while still doing what he loves, we're going to have to duplicate every single aspect of his business. So what we're doing is we're contrasting where he wants to be versus where he is, and we're writing what must meet, what must be done next to do that. So for him, it's duplicate. It's uh, basically building an operations manual for every specific niche of the business. So who handles billing? Specifically, what do they do? Who handles sales? Specifically, what do they do? Who answers the phone? Specifically, what do they do? And that becomes, so it's kind of the area of where you're at right now versus where you need to be in order to achieve your definite chief aim. 